Alright, welcome back to our Kingdom Hearts Let's Play, where I explain the lore of Persona 3. So... It's not at all confusing. <laughs> um, where did I leave off? It was something about... Uh, the, the, the other oh, the, two the, cancer survivors. The, the cancer survivors end up dying slash killing themselves slash... I don't fully remember, I just remember they had tragic deaths. Like, everyone else who dies in that Explosion. game. Explosion! Like, uh, like, you know how people were just like, Final Fantasy VII was so sad for me when I saw that Aerith died? Like, imagine that, but, like, it happens to 90% of the cast. <laughs> That's what Persona 3 is. <laughs> so, uh, throughout your time exploring, uh... Exploding. Uh, you can relationship most of the characters. Okay. As you do. So the game as becomes... You do semi-open world and let you do whatever you want and one of those things is romancing all the characters and getting them all as your girlfriend at the same time which has no repercussion no repercussion because i don't think the developers thought that through they later gave it repercussions in persona 4 and 5 but we'll get to those when we get there <laughs> we'll get to those in like ben's or <laughs> so, so we'll get to those when we get there um so there's no real repercussions, so you end up falling, so a lot of the girl characters you can end up falling in love with. I guess is the weird one, because I guess is a robot. And as much as the internet tries to convince you otherwise, robots can't have sex. So... <laughs> so we're at the final boss of Terra, by the way. Oh, nice. So I'm just gonna save this. I'll, uh... I don't want to go too far into this, because I know we're immediately gonna get cutscene stories. But the point of the matter is, is that you can't fuck a robot like the other girls in the storyline. So instead, she just wants you to touch her inappropriately. Just touch her, touch her a little bit. Touch her right on her thing. She wants to just... She has like a disc thing that comes out of her forehead from her headband that like oh. has her entire consciousness oh, on it. And okay. she wants you to touch that. Just touch, oh, touch okay. it. Give it a little touch. Just a little just, bit just of a touch. Little tip. Just, just the, the tip. Just the tip of your finger. Just fucking feel on that shit. And then she feels complete when it's done. But that's, you know. Like you do. <laughs> when you're a robot, you say weird things. Anyways. <laughs> hey. This is a lot more of a graveyard than I remember. Yeah. Aqua, you finally showed up for the plot. <laughs> It's so funny because she's like cleaning up the messes of the other two guys the entire fucking time. Excellent. She's like, I've come to kill you. The master. He's dead. I was told the master was struck down. Yes, by my own hand, in fact. It was quite funny you should have been there. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a little yes. bit so I can put that down. That's right. I was stupid and helped saying or do it. The master. He tried to hurt Ben. I only fought because I wanted to protect him. He tried to hurt Ben, but so I, I had to silence him saying forever. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> also, he could awaken the darkness inside me. You were right, Aqua. And so was the master. I did need to be watched. I went astray, but no more. It's a little late now. Just a little. I don't think going astray really has anything to do with this, honestly. Darkness, but hate and rage. What is? Zaylor what else is, is darkness but hate dark and rage? Within you, making you fight. You'll go astray again. Tell me. How does that honor our master's memory, Terra? Yeah, you're right. You should just lay down and die, Terra. Here's Ben. So, does everyone betray Terra at this point? No. Me and Benitez to fight. Make some kind of keyblade. They said it. They said the name. Master said we can't let that happen. And he tried to destroy me for it. Keyblade. I still don't That's know exactly what it is. That's not a key. Stupid the, children. That X, I know. I know. I know. It's, it's how the Greeks. I just know. Even 
just the thought of it. Relax, man. We're here, and we're gonna take care of you. I'm fed up with this world. <laughs> Everyone betrayed me. I might have to fight Ben Benactus. If I do, guys, I want you to. The three of us can never be torn apart. All right. Except for in like two hours. Except from for now. everything we've been playing so far. <laughs> Gotta love their weird fucking yeah. giant fingers, don't it's you? Very thick fingers. <laughs> just, just, just kill me. Put an end to me. Yes, murder me, please. I'm fed up with this world. Kill me. <laughs> kill me. Now I should have peed before we started this. You've made a terrible mistake, then. Yeah. She got like twenty minutes. I know. <laughs> Um. Oh, hey, it's the dude who may or may not have been the one carrying the box. Behold, these lifeless keys used to be full of power, united with the hearts of their masters. On this barren soil, key blades of light and darkness were locked in combat. I like that some of them look a legit ass, like actual swords. Yeah. And not like keys really at all. So there was one, you, you see a couple of them that are keyblades, like you can actually get. Yeah. All in search of one ultimate key. The X-Blade. It's really just two keyblades held in an X formation. Oh my fucking god, it really is, though. I know. I know. <laughs> Keyblade. <laughs> it's just like, Ben, I'm gonna turn your ass into a sword and... <laughs> Now they're all in their armor. <laughs> Watch me do it. You know, Tara, maybe you shouldn't have went first. Of all the people here, that, like, you were probably the least qualified to go first. So, we'll get there in, like, a little bit. But, I do like certain things here. I like that sometimes being a Keyblade Master just means that you're a wizard, man. Yeah. Like, not actual, like, Keyblade. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, because uh, Yen said it's just a fucking wizard. Yeah. <laughs> what I also love is, um... How do, how do I word this? The fact that... Awkward, your helmet came off, but just the helmet. So, in the cutscene... It's either the cutscene... Terra has a cape, or it's the PlayStation 2 version. Yeah. He has a cape. But because the PSP couldn't render that, yeah. there's no cape. There's no cape anymore. <laughs> it's hard to render cape physics. Yes. Well, I mean, nowadays it's not that hard, but, but it was really hard back in even the PS2 era. Well, it was the final mix, so it came out like end of PlayStation. Oh, yeah. Dang. Turned him to ice. ice <laughs> That's baby. not a key. Stupid Xehanort doesn't even know what a key looks like. You know, I love how he freezes him and then he drops him. And it's just like, it's gonna kill the guy you're supposed to be trying Turned, to use. Yeah, isn't into it? a key, yeah. That's what I was saying. I'm like, what's that's really dumb on his part. Also, do you like how like we haven't done anything and he's just whooping their asses? Well yeah, that's because he's uh the Madara of the Kingdom Hearts universe. Oh, Just dude, incredibly it's, it's OP. the Keyblades. It's the Kingdom Hearts. Heart. But don't worry. It's our boy. It's you. Just <laughs> what up? It's your boy. It's your boy. Pyro <laughs> Cynical. <laughs> Here to. <laughs> I don't even know if Pyro Cynical says that. I don't watch him, <laughs> but I'm assuming he probably does. So is the moon shaped like a heart? Is that what it is? It's no, it's Kingdom Hearts. But like, it looks like the moon. It's always in the sky. I just like assume it's like the it, moon. It's a moon. Oh, okay. That's shaped in a heart, and it's really confusing. Okay, that's fine then. <laughs> I love how he drops his battle armor. Like, <laughs> now I'm ready to fight. I knew this was a journey you could make. 
over the unseen wall that divides darkness and light. And I was not wrong. Terry. I like to talk with my hands a lot. <laughs> my friend Ven. You tell me, Sayonor. What did you do to him? Why, I did him a favor and I turned him into ice. Him. I thought it was pretty ah, obvious, so really. I never had the fortitude for such strenuous trials. <sighs> Ezekiel! Ezekiel? <laughs> Do we fight both of them? Yep. Interesting. I look too slow as he's getting pelted with fucking orbs. <laughs> he's fucking pelted. <laughs> this really breaks the game. This seems very effective. It is. Okay. But you know, that's, that, was, that was it. And then we fight him again after another yeah. cutscene. Yeah! Go take what Ventus owes you, and take Aqua's life. Oh. Mass Man, come back! No one really knows who you're supposed to be yet! <laughs> Savor that rage and despair. Let it empower you. Why would you do that? You will pay. Sam. Why would you play the camera from two different sides? I I don't know. It gives the illusion that there's two of them now. My no, father my father. Enough for you. Yeah. Leave my friends alone. Yes, boy, that's it. Four. Let your whole heart blacken with anger. Cause now we can steal their heart. Dun dun, that still has to be that way, isn't it? <laughs> what's the what's the uh, song for uh, uh, uh Super Sa no uh in kill uh, no instinct? Uh, Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct. What's the song go for that? I don't remember. <laughs> it's like the first thing I thought of when you powered up. And he's gonna die. Sure. Well, let's we'll take it. Sure. That's a good one that lets you teleport behind them when you use them. Mm. But it's alright. This is a little too easy. I can't tell stories if boss fights only take 14 seconds. <laughs> I'll play on normal next time. <laughs> I have defeated you with the power of darkness. But not really. You see? I will not. All right, I'm a little curious. <laughs> the has been forged. Then, and now, Terra, it is time for the final union. What? At last, our moment is here. Out with the old and brittle vessel, and in with the younger, stronger, new one. Wait, who's the the younger, stronger, new I one? Swore I would survive and be there to see what awaited beyond the Keyblade War. And now it is your darkness that shall be the arc that sets me. Did, did something make sense? Oh my God! I I mean, oh wait, we we got time. Hold on. Oh wait. Something made sense, didn't it, Chris? Well, I don't know if it made sense, but <laughs> I have a theory now. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it. So is uh, Xehanort the apprentice? 
Maybe. Like the original one? Maybe. We'll see. Okay. We'll see you there when we get to the game three. Oh, cool. Uh, belongs again. So the seven heart once belongs now. to darkness again. Begin in darkness and also end. That's a cut the of the line from the no first different. game. Wow. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows. Consumes it. Oh my fucking god, this game gets so is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. <gasps> oh, that guy, that guy, that guy. There's like two people I think he could be. Well, there's like three people I think he could be. But this is but... the part that also makes no sense. What? What? This bus fight is fucking terrible in hard mode, though. <laughs> what the fuck? Your body submits. Your heart succumbs. So why does your mind resist? <laughs> Chris is just like, I guess it works. I'm in sure. It's fine, I guess. Alphonse, what are you doing in this suit? Um, <laughs> this is some fucking full metal alchemist shit right here. <laughs> Mine's more powerful! <laughs> Very nice. What? <laughs> Take this, Xehanort. I have the power of floating orbs. Careful, Derek. He has dark orb powers. You're right. That's what I've been cheesing on so far. Yeah, you don't stand a chance now. Derek, you forgot to try and go properly. Alright, my, my one cure can take up all the healthy kill hitmen. Cure up! Very effective. Well, this looks like it's actually gonna take a while. So let me tell you about Persona 3. And <laughs> uh, although it's been so long, I don't remember where I left off. So there's that. <laughs> Oh yeah, you touched the robot. That's yeah. Where I, that's where I left off. That's not at all weird. I swear. There's like a few romance side stories, but that's the only one that's really like weird, so I think that's... I'll just stick with just that one. Move on. Uh, so then you go uh, and you keep going through the dungeon and you're trying to find a way to stop all the shadows in the, the dark hour. Oh, I forgot to mention, in the dark hour, there's a few people that get sucked into the dark hour and when they do, they get murdered immediately. Of course! Because, of course they do. Uh, that's how Persona 3's logic works, is if no one's dying, then it's not Persona 3 story. So, uh, after, let's say, a while, yeah. of exploring this dungeon and having all these terrible things happen to you, a guy shows up, and he's like the human embodiment of some sort of deity creature or the good half of the final boss, I don't fucking remember, but he shows up, and he walks up to the main protagonist character and all of his friends sitting around the couch, and he's just like, hey, listen, listen. the entire world is going to be destroyed and everyone's going to die. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait now that the boss is finally dead. 
You can start on the next game. I will. Well, trust <gasps> we me. got Zeno before twelve. Hell yeah. I was trying to hold off on this for a while, cause but then that boss fight was taking too long, so I was like, I gotta talk about something. <laughs> Oh, there's the cape. There's the cape. So I just this, appeared out of fucking this is, nowhere. This is to set up for uh, there's the secret boss in Kingdom Hearts 2 final mix. This is the <coughs> secret boss. Gotcha. So that's to set up for that. Very important. So now he's gonna sit here forever. Forever. It's just like defeats him and then it's just like it's over. It's over night though. Vin. Okua. Vera. Terra. Bra. Everyone is dead. Bra. But the heart of the moon is still in the sky. But the darkness, darkness, darkness. Ugh. <laughs> Just love flipping that water bottle, man. I do. I'm a master water bottle flipper. One could even call me really hardcore gamer skills as of 2015. <laughs> oh boy, that was too true. But since we beat him, Kingdom Hearts isn't available anymore. Call back at another time. It's <laughs> just gonna make the same joke. I was like, please try dialing a different number or call back at a different time. Well, that was the first Kingdom Hearts uh, story of this game that this, we played through. Yeah, this so, is technically... Is it weird that the, technically the first Kingdom Hearts game, lore-wise, is a mobile game to anyone else? I will set this right. An MMO mobile game at that? <laughs> so, this was the first of the... Uh... He was very sorry. So, we're not. this isn't even the actual credits by the oh, way. Okay. Um, the final credits, I should say. Right. If there's still three more stories, or two more stories and a final boss we need to do. Hmm. Because if these were the real credits, my, my critique of this game would be, well, it's kind of short. But because there's three more of these, it's kind of too long. Two and long. a box. It's, <laughs> it's kind of too long. <laughs> the fucking shit dabs that I do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I think they range in lengths, so I think his might be the longest, or Aqua's might be the longest. I think Ven's is much shorter. Okay. Wait, do you know which one we're doing next? Uh, Ven's. Ven's? Okay. And then we're doing Aqua's last. Ven? What are Ven waiting for? I hate you, but I love it. <laughs> so this one will go probably a little longer let the credits play we'll let the credits play and in the meantime I'll tell you about Persona 3 <laughs> we'll start on Persona 4 I'm, with Ben I'm actually I'm actually pretty close to the end so uh, and yeah this dude shows up and he's like you're all gonna die and there's nothing you can do about it and everyone in the room is just like what do you mean he's just like I didn't make that any clearer to you <laughs> He's unstoppable, and he is. Um, the The final boss of that game is Nyx, and Nyx is the embodiment of death itself. It is it is essentially the Grim Reaper, but it is the concept of the Grim Reaper. It's it's literally its own god being, uh, one of the strongest beings in Persona up until a couple later games and a couple of the earlier games, because you know, uh, yeah, Philemon and the other dude are more powerful than death itself because they can control what people live and die. But that's beside the point. So essentially, they're like a demi demi god. <laughs> so, uh, Nyx is like this all powerful being and is gonna kill everyone, period. Like, indiscriminately, like, wipe out the player. Oh, this one's good. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna grab him. Oh. But, uh, yeah, so it, it indiscriminately will wipe off everything that breathes on the face of the planet within, uh, and he looks at his watch and he goes, uh, mm, yeah, and it's gonna be like two months. And they go, okay, what? <laughs> We're gonna go stop that. 
And then the dude goes, nah, that's, that's real funny, I don't care about your opinions. MC, main character, what do you think? You don't want to try and fight this thing. It's the end of the world. And then everyone in the room is just like, no, seriously, we're going to try and fight this thing. We're not going to just sit back and let it die. Is there somewhere private we can talk? <laughs> <laughs> and you go back to your room and he asks again, he's like, listen, everyone is going to die. Your two options are to do, is your two options are for me to wipe your memory so you don't realize that you're about to die and go out painlessly, or to try and fight and suffer your way all until you actually do die because he is indestructible and unbeatable. Of course, the MC goes, yeah, no, I'm still gonna fight him. In which case, that character's just like, are you fucking, really? Are you that stupid? Whatever, fine. That's on you. <laughs> So his name is called the Vessel. <coughs> I get that because he's now a vessel. I, I mean, also, I would have, I would have never guessed. I don't like turning those inside out. Well, I mean, it's cool, but I always feel like I might flip it around in a little bit. Yeah, I always, I always like that having that on the inside cover yeah, and then right. actually having so, a card box on the other. So side. now we have a, we can save the game or we can exit the game. We want to save it. Because if we exit the game, we have to do it again. Because this is com this this saves completion status. Ah, I got you. Um, it's literally gonna put us to the right before the final boss if we load it again. Oh, interesting. That way, if you want to complete it 100%, you can. Yeah, gotcha. So yeah, be sure to hang on to this clear save. Well, you might need it to use it down the road. <gasps> I, when I saw that at first, I was like, "What? Clever." So that was Kingdom Hearts 1. Nice. Or, not Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Terra Edition. Yeah, Terra Edition. My favorite edition. Uh, we're going to have to cut it here, though. And we'll pick it up in the next part. We'll see you then. Peace.